know this. In 2015, it's a championship town. Look at all of you. Somebody told me today this might be the single biggest celebration in the state of Missouri history. Right here in Kansas City. So if it's that big, let's welcome to KC our governor, Mr. Jay Nixon. Good afternoon, very quickly. As the governor of the Show Me State, it is an honor and pleasure to be here in the city that is showing the world, five billion people, that Kansas City is number one, world champion, Kansas City Royals. Thank you. Go get them. What a beautiful day. It would be a perfect day at Kauffman Stadium today, but we're here in Crown Center. Our stadium is the most beautiful stadium in baseball because of the work of many people, but in particular, a man who got Kauffman Stadium back to being state of the art, as it's always been, Jackson County Executive Mike Sanders. I thought I'd just come out here today for a little intimate celebration with 500,000 of my closest friends. How about this? And we are here today to honor a team that has captured our imagination, captured the character and the spirit of our community, the 2015 world champion, Kansas City Royals. Now the players get the credit, but I want to make sure we give one big shout out to the 1985 team, Frank White, George Brett, some of our great players that were here, but beyond that, they got it started in 85, but a man who has brought back a winner to our community, let's give a big round of applause to our ownership, our management, David and Dan Glass, Ned Yost and Dayton Moore, who are reinventing the way baseball is played in America. But it ain't over yet, ladies and gentlemen. Let's enjoy 2015, but on to 2016 one more time. Let's go Royals! 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 All right. I don't know how many cities we have in the United States, but right now, there's only one mayor in the entire United States who can say he's a world champion mayor, and that's Sly James. Best fans in the world! Best team in the world! Best city in the world! Thanks to all of you for coming out here. Thanks to all the sponsors who made this possible. Thanks to every single one of you for doing this right, showing the rest of the world what it means to win with class, to never ever quit, and to always come out on top. This team is like our city. We never quit. Thank you. Nine years ago, a gentleman made the move from Atlanta, a team who won year after year, and he wanted to come back to Kansas City because he was born in Kansas, and his favorite team as a child was the Kansas City Royals, and he promised us, he promised us nine years ago that we would be here today. Royals General Manager Dayton Moore. Congratulations, Kansas City! You know, what an amazing blessing 
it is to celebrate this team, these players on this stage, their perseverance, they're tough, they all have a story, and it's a story that's very special. And forever, we're honored by these great players. No, for you, Salvin, for you, Salvin. Way to go, Kansas City. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for believing in us. This is all for you. Thank you so much. All right, let's go farther back in time. Kansas City Royals, many thought that wasn't a good investment because people said in today's day and age, you can't make it in Kansas City. You can't make it. It's not big enough. But one man believed in this team. And one man hired the right people to get us where we are today. Let's give it up for the owner and the chairman of the board, Mr. David Glass. Thank you. I can't tell you how much fun all this has been. And you know, I have to go back to last year. There are a lot of people last year who said the Royals felt really good about just getting in the postseason. But I know this organization and they didn't feel good about getting in the postseason. They got in the postseason last year to win it all. Unfortunately, we came up just short and I was really excited, though, when they gave us that American League Championship trophy, and I said, you know, this is really wonderful, but then I started complaining a little bit. I said, what I, this is fantastic, but what I really wanted was one of those round ones with all the flags on it. And I, I kept saying that. I kept saying that. And then I went to spring training, and the players and the coaches and our general manager and the whole organization said, don't worry. This year, we're in it to win it. We're, we're not going to get back to postseason. We're in it to win it. So they did from day one. And I, couldn't, I can't tell you how proud I am of these players. From day one, they were committed to getting us to where we are today. And then I thought the other night, we were in New York, and we won the fifth game, and we won our, our, our World Series championship. And the commissioner was there to present me the trophy. And I thought to myself, you know what, Rob's going to hand me that trophy and say, for God's sakes, will you shut up now? He didn't. He just handed it to me, congratulated us. And then one other thing that I've got to tell you is you fans, you fans are so fantastic. There's no way in the world we could have done this without you and your support. So thank you for everything. Thank you, Mr. Glass. Well, we got a stage full of world champions. Do you think we have any Hall of Famers on this stage? We'll see. We'll see. I think you're right. But we do, we do have one Hall of Famer on this stage. Number five, world champion, George Brett. I played on the 85 World Championship team, and I've followed these guys in spring training forever. But after watching them play the last two years, I want to congratulate them for two things. Winning the World Series in 2015 and becoming the greatest team in Kansas City Royal history. These guys are the best team ever, ever. So congratulations, David. Congratulations, Dayton. And you guys, congratulations. You're the greatest team in royal history, in my opinion, and I'm sure yours too. You know, 
help. Just three years ago, the Royals lost 90 games. And one guy said, don't worry, don't worry. It's going to get better. The next year, the Royals almost made it to the playoffs. And this man said, don't worry, we're going to get there. Last season, this team got to game seven of the World Series, and he said the thrill isn't over. It's going to be even better. He was right. Royals manager, Ned Yost. Thank you. Thank you. First of all, first of all, I would like to say thank you to each and every one of you for making this day so special. This has been a tremendous day. This is a day like none of us have ever seen before, and we appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. This group grew up together. This group won championships in AA. This group won championships in AAA. And what they wanted most was to come to this city for you fans and win a world championship for you guys. We celebrate that here today. So we just are so thankful for your support. Mayor James hit it just on the head. Kansas City's the greatest town in the world. They've got the best fans in the world. And now you have the best team in the world. Thank you for all your support. We love you. Well, we know how loud Coffin Stadium was in the postseason, thanks to you. But these players, these players will tell you sometimes they're so focused on the game that they don't know how loud it is. Right now, they are focused on nothing but you. So before, before we bring them up to the stage, I want them to hear it, and I want the whole world to hear it. Let's go Royals. Ready? One, two, three. Let's go Royals. guys enough the turnout's been something you can't even make up in a dream it's really unbelievable from all of us we thank you guys so much for the atmosphere the energy that you brought us you know those re there's a reason why we had all those comebacks especially at home whenever we hear you guys get up and get loud it sparks up the whole entire team and we can't thank you enough and we're all just glad that the trophies right where it belongs here in Kansas City Alcides Escobar. Arriba Alcides. XP, 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 XP. Thank you, fan. I'm happy to be here this day. This is unbelievable. Like, I love Campbell. All my team is in here. I know everybody's so happy to be here too. The only thing I want to say, thank you to everybody, and let's go, Royal. We also had a World Series MVP. MVP! MVP! Thank 
thank you to be the best fan in the world. Today, we're the number one in the whole world, guys. Thank you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't want so one really good friend together to me. My Ustaka, please. so much for always being there for us. I mean, number one, we're the, we're the, we're the best team in baseball. And we just want to say thank you guys for being the best fans in baseball. We couldn't do it without you guys. Every single person back here applauds you guys for being the best fans in baseball. We just want to say thank you very much. Where's the Dyson? Little Rob! He one of the best at the, at the, at the microphone. <laughs> What's going on, Kansas City? I just want to say for the team, we love you guys. We thank you guys for your support all year. Been helping us get through the season, and we really appreciate it. Now we have been crowned 2015 World Champs, baby. Let's go, Low Kane. Let's go, Low Kane. Let's go, Low Kane. Yeah. He a little shy, fellas. He a little shy. This is my Clash of Clan brother. You're worse, you're worse than Sally. Thank you, Sad Green Key. I love you so much. We love you, Kay! Y'all yeah, get in the pictures with us. <laughs> like what these guys said, I just want to thank all you, all you guys for uh, showing the support all season long. Uh, we love you guys. I mean, couldn't ask for a better fans. And uh, I say, let's get it going again next year. Johnny go, Johnny go, Johnny go, Johnny go, Johnny go, Johnny go. Please, please, please take a moment of silence for the heavy hearts that we gathered in our clubhouse and outside of our clubhouse. Please understand what, what everybody had on their back for a minute. Mustakis, CY, Volquez. Understand, please, give me a moment of silence. It's unbelievable what those boys did. It's unbelievable what they did. It's unbelievable what they did! They stole bases, they hit homers! Hey, guess what? Cy Young winner! Not on our team, beat him. Rookie of the year! Not on our team, we beat him. MVP of the whole league! Sorry guys, not on our team. But we beat that guy too! Do you know why we beat him? Because all y'all people had our backs. And Dayton Moore put this team together. And Yost delivered it by being a captain of the ship. 
Y'all want to be politically correct? I'm the all politically correct person. We whoop their ass. Thank you guys for coming out today. This is unbelievable. Unreal. Thank you so much for all of us. Hey, really quickly, you guys may have seen on TV, we've done something for the past couple of years. Something that's really helped bring us together as a team, as one unit. You probably don't understand anything you hear when you see it in a post-game celebration. But since we're world champions, we've done it for two years, we want to share with you a little bit about what we do. When we come in, we want to celebrate every single win. We want to celebrate it as a team. We want to respect it, and we want to appreciate it. That, year, that this year meant, what, 95 times we got to celebrate with our brothers in the regular season, and then another 11 times in the playoffs. How we do this in the clubhouse is we have a little song. We do Thunderstruck. We clap to it. And so we get to go a little clap, and when that's over, somebody grabs the mic. Usually it was me, but we had a bunch of guys that would grab the mic. And that's when you would maybe hear something that goes, listen up, I got something to say. I said I got something to say. They would want me to say it, you better believe they did. They wanted to hear me say it. We would give a player the game. But on this team, you don't got just one player of the game. We got too many heroes every single game. Every single game. And so after a year of just recognizing one, maybe two or three, we had a couple of guys that came up with something else. Moustakis and Medlin. They say we need to give a little shout out to the other guys who aren't necessarily the player of the game. And that's when you might have heard something like this. I need two claps and a Ric Flair. I need two claps and a Ric Flair. And we would shout the people out. Who were they? Every one of these guys earned that honor someday. And then later on, we had to present our player of the game. You guys might have seen a theme this year. It's all over. We saw it on, we saw it on signs. We saw it on shirts. It was a 1738 player of the game because we did it because of Low Kane's song, and it got us going. It fired us up. And so we would get a player of the game. And that's how we celebrated every single win all the way down to the end. And so we just wanted to share that with you guys. We want two more claps and a Ric Flair for the 1738 fans of the world. Season, even though he hadn't played in one game, right, Johnny? But when the team needed him the most, in the 12th inning of game five of the World Series, and the game was tied, Christian Colon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much for this. I just want to say, Thank you to all the fans for showing up every single night to support on us. This is a, a close group, and um, you know we, uh, we're brothers, we're family here, and this whole entire city is tied together to this. And um, I stay prepared because I care so much about my teammates and everybody in the organization and this fans. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Listen up. 
We got three guys that want to say something. Volquez, Ventura, and Cueto. They want to come out and say you guys, say something to you guys. Hey. Christian Colon, we need a translator. <laughs> All right, what do we got? What do we got? No, All right. Ventura don't want to start, so we go with Cueto. What do you guys say to the fans of Kansas City, man? Uh, he says, very happy that you guys are here. Very happy he was able to help. Uh, he can't wait to, to finally just uh, look at himself and know that he uh, got a world championship, and uh, especially with all these guys here and all the fans. So he thanks you guys very much for that. <laughs> hey, Volkis has perfect English. I ain't got to translate for him. No English. Um, I just want to thank you guys. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. But we got fans like you guys. I'm, 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 I may be crying right now. It's too much for me, man. Um, I'm really, I'm really excited to be here today. I want to thank um, Dave Tomore and uh, and everybody because uh, they gave me the opportunity to be to be a part of the Kansas City Royal team. I was on a different team last year, and I uh, I talked to my agent about signing Kansas City, and he's and I think I made the right choice to be a part of Kansas City Royal. I'm very proud. Now. I'm, I'm a little bit more proud to see all those people now here cheering for us. We are the best team in baseball, and we are the champion. And we got the trophy right here. And we got Jordano Ventura and Johnny Cueto. We, 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 <laughs> we try the whole years to do our best to, to be the best team in baseball, and we did it. We are the best. and. Uh, I want to I let you know, guys, I went back to Dominica because my dad passed away. But I called my pitching coach and I told him I want to pitch the game. When I came back from Dominica, I went straight out to the office, to my skipper office, and I told him I want to pitch the game because my dad, he wanted me to pitch the game, and my mom too, and I did it. Oh, you're for you guys. You are the best. You guys, we all, we all, all my team, I love you guys. We all love you guys. We, can, we can't even win a single game without you guys. Thank you for the support. We love you. Thank you. All right. Now, I did it for, uh, for a little bit. You know, I had to help this uh, young brother out, you know. But uh, he's getting better with his English. He's just, uh, you know, a little shy sometimes. But he'd be good. He'd be good here. Oh my God. Thank you, God, first for being here today. Yeah. Thank you to the, everybody here to my pleasure, first. Thank you for the Glad family. Thank you, Dayton, for today you had to, you were, you know, like, we like like that, you know, everybody here is like, Good player, you know, good teammate. And today I tried my English, you know, by everybody here. And I tried to play better. So, thank you, KC fan. And we love you, and we play hard every day for you. Thank you. Killed it. Hey, hello, hello, hello. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We got, I got something to say. You guys gonna see our team here next year because we go back to the World Series and we're gonna win that. But all for you guys. We're gonna go back to the playoffs all the way to the World Series and we're gonna win because we are the best team in baseball. We got, we are the best.
Who got? Oh, JG in the house. Hey, 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 the politically incorrect guy right here. Outside of the starters, guess what's next? The silent assassins that do not want to come up. The Cincinnati. <laughs> not there. Can't see Roy Bullpen. I need the bullpen. I need the bullpen right here. These guys are so shy. All they want to do is strike people out. I need all of them. C.Y. Matt Herrera. Matt Duffy. The boys behind, can you push them closer? Can you push them closer? These guys are so famous, it's ridiculous. None of them want to talk. They all want to sit in the back. You want to know why? Because they're that awesome. But guess what? Wade Davis is going to talk. Honestly, truly an honor to be out here. This is incredible. All of our teammates, Dayton, Mr. Glass. Uh, every time we come in a game late in the game, y'all are there for us, yelling, getting louder as the game's getting more intense. And it's 100% the reason we had success this year is because of all y'all. 100%. I appreciate everything y'all done. Thank you. Alex Gordon. Alex Gordon. Alex Gordon, Alex Gordon, Alex Gordon, Alex Gordon, Alex Gordon, Alex People know who you are around here, Kai. That's unbelievable. Talk to the people. What up, guys? <laughs> I just want to tell you guys thanks for everything. You know, I've been here since 2007. I've been through the bad times. And to see it unfold to this is truly unbelievable. We're World Series champs. And you guys are the best fans in the world. I want to give a shout out to all my brothers behind me. You don't know how much work these guys put in every day to do what they do and be the best team. I want to thank Dayton Moore. I want to thank Ned Yost. You guys give us confidence every day. Go out there and play. And you guys are the best as well. And all I gotta say is that we had a trick up our sleeve too, and it's called World Series Champs. There's three things we gotta close with as a player. One, the person who paved the way for us, George Brett. George, please. Two, the person who put this team together, Dayton Moore. Three, the manager of the ship and Yost. Please, I need three round of applause for the three captains of all ways. The person who paved the way, 85 champs. The person who put all these cronies together, who would have thought? And the person who drove the ship. See you guys next year.